So in this video, we're gonna run through a quick review of Wizza and compare it to Leadloft to see which tool is best for your team. Let's dive into it. So this is Wizza, and it really does two things. It scrapes LinkedIn, and also has a database that they've recently introduced. They also offer contact monitoring, which basically updates contacts in your CRM, but it's in beta and it's gonna be far more expensive than the other solutions. So let's just cover their main purpose, just scraping LinkedIn. So to use this, we'll hop into LinkedIn here and you'll see there's an overview of contacts here. And you'll immediately see that the Leadloft's Chrome extension is on the bottom here. You can see Wizza is on the top right. If you wanna use Wizza's Chrome extension, you actually have to open up a contact. You can't save them from here. With Leadloft, you can hop over and just click save on them. And what's really cool with Leadloft is you can select a segment to organize them, or if you wanna automatically engage them using our one-click engage feature, you can select a playbook. And we'll select our VP's outbound demo, and then we'll find somebody we wanna get in touch with, and we can just click save on them. And now what's gonna happen is we're gonna find their contact information, meaning their email and their phone number, and then we're gonna start engaging them in the playbook we just selected. And if you wanna use Wizza for this, you do have to open up that contact first, you can scroll over here and click view all info or find phone number. It looks like I've already saved this contact using Wizza. So let's go find somebody else really quickly. There we go. I can click find email or phone. We'll click it and we'll start searching and we'll add it to a list within your database. And the other way you can use Wizza and Leadloft is if you hop into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And they're a little different here. So let's do a new search because I was testing in here prior. There we go. And it works the same way here. So with Leadloft, you can open up a contact and you can either save them just using their most recent company, or if you want to scroll down, you can actually save contact information depending on which company you want to save the contact information for. And the way Wizza works is a little bit differently. You click export leads with Wizza up here on the top right. I'll give it a click. You can say no email, email only, et cetera. Let's say email only, select it. We only want work emails, so we'll remove these other two types. We only want to save five people for now because it is just a demo. We'll click next step. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna click start scan now. And it will take some time. It might take like 20 or 30 minutes. I tested it prior and it did take some time for it actually to complete. So just keep that in mind. But you can see here, it's now processing. It's now scraping them. So that's essentially how it works. And if I hop into Sales Navigator again here with Leadloft again, I can just click save to save their contact information and begin engaging them. So let's go find somebody we might want to get in contact with. So there's Lit Arc here. I've already saved him, fifth gear marketing. So maybe we wanna get in touch with him. We can just click save. And again, he'll be added to this segment. And of course, he'll be enrolled in this playbook because we have it selected. So let's hop into Leadloft and just see what that looks like. We'll click pipeline to refresh the pipeline. There we go. And then fifth gear marketing here. There he is. You can see we're now engaging him. We're still searching for his email address. We go to one of those other contacts here like revenue. You can see we're also engaging him and we did find his email. And that green bubble indicates it's also verified. And just to show you what that playbook actually looks like, I can go to VP's app on here and you can see we're actually verifying catch all emails with this step. We have automated emails, call tasks. We even have automated LinkedIn connection requests and LinkedIn messages as well, which is a super powerful feature. And then let's hop back into Wizza and look at their database here. This is something that Leadloft doesn't have uh, and it is, a, it is a pretty useful feature. So if you're looking for just a database, this can be useful. So let's look for uh, job information. Let's say founder. Give it a quick search. There we go. And the way you can save is you can select them all here and export them. And that's essentially how it works. And if you want to achieve this with Leadloft, you would have to go to Sales Navigator and you'd have to click Save All Leads and it'll save everybody on the page here. The one thing I would want to mention though is Leadloft is far more powerful when it comes to automated prospecting. You can hop into Leadloft, click New Playbook, click AI Prospector, and just describe who you want to prospect. So maybe I just say it's founders of tech companies located in SF. You can click continue here. You can follow the steps to build up the playbook. And then from there, the playbook will actually automatically prospect for you. Let's build with AI and we'll just go really quick here. When you're ready, you click generate with AI. The AI will build the playbook for you, meaning the tasks across email, across LinkedIn, et cetera. And it should be done. Okay, so there it goes. You can see it opens up with bounce shield to verify unverifiable emails. It gives a really short, quick pitch, a nice solid cold email. And of course, it also has LinkedIn uh, connection steps and LinkedIn messages that are handled automatically. And of course, we also have calling tasks. We'll go ahead and click use this playbook and just, just to describe how this works. So we have this description here and now what's gonna happen is it's gonna go contact by contact, company by company, seeing if they match this description. And if they do, Leadloft will save them, meaning find their contact information, email and phone number, and then start engaging them in this playbook. And that happens all automatically once you click start playbook. 
And of course, the obvious aspect here is Wizza is just for prospecting and list building. It doesn't do anything else. You hop into Leadloft, we do prospecting, we do outreach with playbooks. And of course, we also do CRM tracking with our CRM. And it's really simple. It's drag and drop. And we sync communication across email, across LinkedIn, and we sync all this to your inbox. Then you can also hop into a lead here and get an overview of everything you're talking about within that lead. And again, email and LinkedIn communication will appear here on the right between your team and theirs. So that's my review of Wizza. When it really comes down to it, Wizza is great for list building, but it's really just not a sales tool. If you're looking to generate leads, Leadloft is obviously the more powerful tool here with prospecting, automated prospecting, and of course, outreach automation and a CRM. So hopefully that's helpful. If you do have other questions, feel free to reach out to me or my team. I'll see you guys in the next video.